Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to today's installment of Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz. Dennis Purvis with you, as always, uh, from Pro 93 Home Solutions, your sponsor for the area's only local home and garden broadcast. We appreciate you guys for listening, appreciate the comments, appreciate the feedback uh, to the folks that have called our office and uh, gotten estimates and we've got to become customers. First of all, welcome to the family. Thank you for uh, giving us a chance to partner with you in your home improvement. Uh, and as a reminder, Pro 93 is a full general contractor we um, there's a lot of great contractors in this town we specialize primarily in remodeling we do do custom builds uh, however we love remodeling additions kitchen bathroom tear outs uh, uh, basement finishing um, uh, we can even do french drains we do a lot of dirt work um, we ask we offer a drain augering and cleaning if you've got some downspout drains or starting to get clogged up with leaves let all these leaves get off the trees give us a call and i'll get riley and his trusty auger out there to get you taken care of but uh, whether it's big or small we would love to help you out and get a chance to earn your business give us a call 458-4135 or look us up pro93homesolutions.com if you'll hit the contact us tab uh, fill that out it'll come straight to our emails which nowadays comes straight to our phones um, and don't forget also that we have a uh, full service residential and small commercial cleaning team which funny enough is what we're going to be talking about today and my guest for the day is the lovely the talented the bossy and Diet Coke fueled Wendy Barrick. <laughs> Wendy, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me again. Um, and it's that time of year where everybody's worried about how their house looks inside. You normally we talk a lot about the exteriors. We talk about your yard. We talk about landscaping. We talk about roofing. But today we're just going to talk about the holidays are coming. T minus. Less than two months, and all the holidays are coming. So, uh, Wendy, who is our clean team manager, she is, uh, um, and let me just tell you, when I tell you that I've never met anyone that loves to clean more than Wendy Barrick, that is not hyperbole. Would you like to tell everybody what your license plate says? I clean. Like, she, she paid for that. Like, she, <laughs> she paid extra just to let the world know. She cleans and it's, clean. and, and she doesn't do it out of spite. Like she loves it. Um, and I can tell you personally, she's uh, been in my house. I was on um, a vacation uh, just a couple months ago and I had a couple rooms that I just needed to get taken care of, not just cleaned out, but kind of organized and sorted. And Wendy took care of it. By the time I was back, you would have never known that that stuff existed. Um, she did. She's, She's just, some people just have a, a gift to be able to do that and to organize and to clean, and she loves it. So I can tell you, I personally have had seen what she's done, not just for our customers, but for me. So first of all, Wendy, thank you for what you do for Pro 93. Thank you for making the clean team be something I don't have to think about, and Jesse doesn't have to think about as owners. You guys just get, get it done. She's got uh, a great team right now. Uh, and we would love the opportunity to come out and give you a quote, uh, maybe just a one-time clean here for the holidays. Um, or you, we've got a lot of recurring customers that we set up weekly, biweekly, or monthly. Whatever fits your budget, we, we kind of focus on that. I can tell you we'll talk about that more. So the holidays are coming, Wendy. When you think about that, what are customers that you're, you know, even our recurring customers, as they're starting to think about all the folks coming to their house and visitors stopping by, what are kind of some of the things that you've seen just on a, a that people may not normally think about with cleaning um, that it's time to it may be time kind of like a spring clean that six month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wh what's it time to take a take a look at and see if it's something you that you want to do in your home? Well, you always got to look at everybody's refrigerator. Oh, ah, I would have never thought about that. Well, usually on Thanksgiving and it's happened in our family for years. It's like. When you're over at somebody's house and they've actually invited the whole family over and everybody's doing that and everybody's trying to help you finish up the last minute cooking, they're opening up your refrigerator and they're looking in. And my mom was a great house cleaner, but occasionally the refrigerator was not yeah. the greatest. You know, you forget those things. You look at all the outside stuff. Well, they would, her sisters 
would always pick on her when they opened their refrigerator to get some butter out. They're like, your refrigerator probably needed a good cleaning or when you're getting ready to put leftovers in the refrigerator after Thanksgiving and you have no room because you didn't think about cleaning the refrigerator. Or the stove, because you've got the turkey ready, the ovens, you know, you, you might want that clean. And let me, let me explain something to you. We, do we clean ovens? We do if someone asks. We, okay, good. We've done it quite a bit on the, the rentals and the move-outs and the mm-hmm. move-ins, but Just, that could be a possible thing that we... And for those of you that have listened, you, we've had Daniel Waller on here from Legacy Appliance Repair. And one of the things he will tell you from an appliance repairman, do not self-clean your oven. I know it's on there. I know it says that it's available. But folks... If you want to replace your oven and possibly be, he said he doesn't, he can't tell you how many phone calls he gets the day before Thanksgiving because they've self-cleaned and they fried everything. Guys, it gets so hot in there that it burns. All these stoves have computers now and it literally burns the board up. It's not designed to get that hot. Um, And, or, and literally, or it's started to melt the cabinet that's next to it. Just remember, um, we do offer that at Pro 93, 458-4135. Give us a call. But uh, don't self-clean your ovens. Your oven's not made for it, and you're, you're just, every time you do it, you're shortening the lifespan of your stove. So that's one little Thanksgiving tip for you right now. So you talked about the stove. You talked, refrigerator is a good one. I think about, like, I'm always, like, wiping off the water in a nice dispenser, right? Because everybody sees that. Right. But I never thought about, like, and when... The twice a year you remember your fridge because you look in there and there's like the kids have got jelly on a, on a shelf or, um, you know, something's, something's leaked in the back that you can't see until you get everything out of it. Yeah. When you're going to somebody's house, the last thing I want you to think is, oh, good Lord. Yeah. Because they're going to open that. And that, yeah. that shows about how a cook you are. So yes. Like, I'm, I'm oh, and listen, we're in the South. You can't be messing with somebody's cooking status right. now. <laughs> um, and I'm guessing to go along with that, microwaves. Insides of microwaves. Yes, I would probably open my microwave before people come over, especially like during the holidays. You yeah. Know, when you have visitors over regular, you don't think about that. You want to make sure everything's vacuumed and dusted maybe. Yeah. But you don't think about people doing stuff. But the gravy might not be hot enough for somebody. And where are they going to Or leftovers. Do? Or everybody's right. at the house watching football or the parade. And after dinner, they go make it. They want to warm up some leftovers. And they're going to pop gonna them in And they're going to open your microwave and say, ooh. Yeah. And, do I really and, want and, <laughs> and if you do microwave the gravy, put something on top of it like a paper towel so it doesn't make the splatter. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, so microwaves. I didn't. That's a great microwaves ranges. Uh, your oven, refrigerators, and then I guess the other big thing is, you know, if everybody's coming to your house, some a lot of things I know a lot of people don't do. That's not. I don't think it's something we normally do, but we have. We can do it for you on a request or Windows. You know, it's maybe time not just for a pickup clean, but like a deep clean. Check those baseboards, especially now that the heat's been turned on. Unless you're just a manlier man than me or a better woman than me uh, because uh, I caved about a week ago. I, w- I tried not to turn the heat on. Uh, anybody that came to my house, I told them to dress warm and I'll give you a blanket because I was like, I'm not turning the heat on. And last week. Last week? You did? Oh, I wasn't oh, I, here last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Wendy wasn't like here last week, day. by the way. Where were you last week, Wendy? I was in the great island of Puerto Rico. I didn't even leave the country, went to Puerto Rico, but uh, she made sure as she was down there suffering for Jesus on vacation suffering. on the beach that she sent us lots of pictures just to give us, you know, not to rub it in that we were freezing and she was... I didn't realize how cut... Well, I did notice it was 50 one day and it was 80 there, but... It was 80, yeah, so it was... I'm sure it was just... The girls said send pictures, so I figured out if I'm sending pictures to them, I might as well send it to Dennis, and uh-huh. I don't think he appreciated them as much as they Uh-huh. Did. I mean, it was beautiful. There uh-huh. was some hate... Yeah. <laughs> ...from all of you, but... <laughs> and you didn't care, because you were in Puerto Rico on the beach, and yeah. some of... She did get put in jail over there. I saw that picture. Yeah. Unfortunately, we won't tell that story. I don't get you in trouble. I don't think she can go back to Puerto Rico now, but it's a long story. Um, give us a call at 458 4135 and we'll tell you about it. But um, so, baseboards, the, so for everybody that is listening, if they're all wanting a deep clean, tell them so what, what do we, when we say deep clean, what does that mean 
for what the customer is going to receive. The baseboards, like you said, mm-hmm. um, cabinets, all the spills on the cabinets. Nice. We try to get them off. You know, my favorite, the switch plates oh. and things like that. And one thing that um, my better half, Chris, had reminded me of is the door facings up at the top. Top of the door I don't casings. always see that. Well, but, you are you are vertically challenged. Yes, I am vertically challenged. I might make it. But to you five have a foot. step stool in the car, don't yes, you? Yes, I yeah. keep a step stool because I am short, and yeah. so things like that over the door casings and all of that, and um, doors around the knobs and different things like that. They they get extra dirty, and then on a maintenance clean, we just kind of spot check those. Yeah. Because a maintenance clean, we're trying to get your bathrooms done, your your kitchen done, your carpets done, floors dusting that right. kind of thing, right? Dusting and things like that. And but when we clean, does that extra stuff? And things that you can ask for. There are some things that aren't included, maybe in a deep clean, but I know that we have done in the past. I know the windows is one of those things you can ask for. Um, Typically, we don't. We're not big on dishes, but if you need it, we can do it. Um, where are we on? I know we have some people that ask about like changing beds or making beds. Where are you guys? What do you guys? What do you guys do for that? Um, probably about twenty five percent of our customers might want their beds changed. And what I tell them is, if they want it changed, just leave the clean sheets there. We'll put the clean sheets on, take the dirty sheets off. You know, put them in a spot that they've designated and then make up their bed for them yeah and you know we don't do laundry or anything like that but we will do that some people have fibromyalgia they have problems where they can't get across the bed to put sheets on the bed or they're just like me and just despise making beds i don't i've never seen the sense in it because you're gonna mess it up again and i know that makes me a weird person but i do like clean sheets though so that's the that's the problem is i hate making a bed but I don't like being in dirty sheets. Uh, but it's so for all you single folks out there that just don't have time or maybe you're working, you're busy, um, we, we provide a great service. I mean, we had one of our customers I know um, who used to be a single guy. He's now happily married. But his uh, we cleaned his house, and he, he, would, he would literally text me and go, I love when it's my week for cleaning because I come home and I feel like I live in a hotel. He said, I feel like I'm in a really nice hotel because – um, we, a lot of little touches we have with, uh, um, folding the toilet paper, or I think after I told Wendy that she started leaving like a chocolate on his pillow, just to, just okay. to, just to do that. But one thing you said earlier that I had a customer point out to me, and I'll be honest with you until that customer had talked to me, I'd never thought about it in my life. And then I went home and looked at mine, our switch plates, light switches, folks, the little plates that go around it. You don't realize because you never look at them. I promise you go home. It's kind of like having gutters on your house. You got, do I have gutters on my house? And until you look at them, you don't realize it. Go home and look at the, the, the main rooms of your home. If you've got kids, go to your children's bedrooms and look at those switch plates. And the first thing you're going to say is I need to bathe my children. The second thing you're going to say is, Oh my Lord, I got to wipe that off. So, those little things as an owner, there is nothing better in the world than getting these texts from folks. Um, and even if you look on Google, you know, we've got, we've got, we're very fortunate to have five star reviews on Google, uh, for our business. And a lot of those are because of our cleaning customers. Um, and Wendy does a fantastic job. And a lot of that is just, again, Wendy, thank you because you absolutely hold our team to a high standard. Um, you have a high standard, um, and thank God you're not being held to my standard because Wendy has actually cleaned my house, so she understands my level of clean does not equal her level of clean. I walk in, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it looks like somebody built me a new house. She's like, no, this is what happens when your floors are swept. So uh, uh, when we come back, though, we're going to talk about some of the things we have lined up here for the holidays, some opportunities for you to maybe give the gift of cleaning. Uh, if you know somebody, maybe you want to give uh, your, your mama's cooking Thanksgiving, you want to give her a house cleaning before that. Uh, maybe you want to get in good with your spouse. Maybe you want to give your, your siblings, friends, something. We've got to have gift certificates and a special available. So hang in there with us. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. You're listening to Home Solutions on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz. 
Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro 93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro 93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro 93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Welcome back to Home Solutions, everybody. Thanks for sticking around with us. Dennis Purvis and Wendy Barrick from Pro93 here with you. We're talking about all things cleaning. Uh, Pro93, of course, we're a general contractor, but uh, we also have a cleaning division that Wendy heads up and takes care of all our customers and our clean team. Um, and one of the things uh, we're talking about right now is uh, I wanted to have her in here because it's getting close to the holidays. You're going to start thinking about how clean your house is, and then you're going to think about how much time you don't have, uh, and then you're going to be like, like, huh, I remember I heard that guy on the radio <laughs> saying that they could clean. So um, give us a call. And, and listen, however you're listening today, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Whether you're riding around town today, uh, listening in your car, maybe you're listening to the radio at the house, um, or maybe you're streaming uh, online or you're on the Mix 1041 app, uh, which if you don't have, you need to get a lot of great content. Go to the App Store or the Play Store and get that taken care of for your phone. Um, and then for everybody in Facebook world, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Dennis. That's Wendy. If you were trying to guess, luckily Gideon put our names we're right there as our names. And then there's, there. I'm trying to figure there's Wendy's. She's hers is over there. Okay. So, uh, uh, we would love to uh, give it, give you a, a quote on cleaning. Uh, we, you know, as a thank you, uh, we've got a special deal going on. Wendy, you want to tell them what our, our deal is here for the holidays? It's, this is good from now until the end of the year. If you buy a hundred dollar gift certificate, we'll give you a fifty dollar gift certificate. So, folks, it's one hundred and fifty dollars for a hundred. If you're buying somebody a hundred dollar gift certificate towards a cleaning of their home, for every hundred dollars you spend, I'm going to give you a fifty dollar gift certificate. So, it is an amazing deal. Um, and listen, we're, we, you can put those together. They're transferable, however you want to do it. But I'm telling you, it's uh, something we, we really want to um, help folks out here at the holidays. I know uh, you heard in the first hour, Wendy believes in clean. Uh, you, I, I can't tell you. For instance, my desk just makes her an angst ridden. A lot of anxiety on my desk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just want to clean it, don't you? Yeah, I try not to look that way when I walk in the door. <laughs> Listen, she hates my desk. I'm a pile guy. Like, I have piles, and I know what's in every pile. I know what everything is, but I'm out of sight, out of mind. If I file it all away, I'll never get anything done. So um, you've got an expert coming over. And let's talk a little bit about the process. So if somebody calls in, um, we, you're going to get Wendy. Um, Wendy's going to set up an estimate. Tell them what they, wh why, why we like to do estimates and not just quote a price over the phone and what they can expect when you come out to their house. Well, one reason why we like to do estimates is because we, we never know. Everybody's different. Some people pre-clean before we get there. Yeah. Some people pre-clean before we did the estimate. And then we do an estimate, and then we get you on the schedule the next week or the next week, and it could be really dirty the house has been lived you just in. never you just never know what you're going to get into and somebody somebody might say oh my house is fairly clean i just need you but when i leave there i want it to be completely clean yeah and i don't want to fairly clean anything because you know, if you're looking, like if you're, if you're, your money's worth well, if you're, if you're let's be honest, if you're looking for fairly clean, we're not your people. Right. So there you we, go. we don't want to fairly clean anything. And so we just like, I just like to look at it, see what it is. Look at your baseboards, look at your light switches, you know, especially if it's the first time I recommend a deep clean that way we well, can start from scratch and it all be cleaned up before we and i will tell you as a general rule what we like to do is if you want recurring service that first initial clean is going to be more because as she just said we want to do a deep clean so we can get to a baseline right we don't want to have to scrub your baseboards every time right we want to be able to do maintenance spot checks so and having it, we, it's the same philosophy we have in contracting. Um, you can send me pictures, you can show me, you can send me plans, but until we get our boots on the ground and eyes on it, 
we don't really know what we're getting into and I want to make sure whatever estimate we're giving you I don't I would rather I would rather you be excited that your bill wasn't as high as the estimate than vice versa I don't want anybody to feel like we were trying to flee some. I don't want anybody feeling like that's how we do business. I know Wendy will give everybody kind of whatever she thinks it's going to take. She'll add an hour or two to it just to say, hey, this is probably where it's going to be. Um, and then once we get there, we'll see how quick it is. We'll see what happens. Again, we'll see if you've pre-cleaned and I'm guilty. There are times that I know Wendy is going to come to my house. So I've made it not as bad and it's, it's still bad. But when you're single, man, you live in like three rooms of your house. So it's, uh, I wanted to make sure that it's like, uh, not disgusting. <laughs> it may not even reach fairly clean, but at least it's picked up. Um, so we've talked a little bit about the estimate and what is our turnaround one time? So if somebody calls and says, um, you know, I want a cleaning. Are we weeks out? What, what are your right now? What is your typical, I try to do it within that week, if Good. if possible. I mean, there's sometimes we get calls that says, "Can you come this afternoon?" And yeah. sometimes that's a little hard, but usually I'd say at least a you know week to make sure that. And we are growing right now. We've got probably more cleaners now than we ever have. Um, and another thing, if anybody's listening and you like to clean and it's something you love to do, I can tell you we have very competitive pay. We would love to talk to you. Give us a call. Call 458-4135. Get Wendy. Uh, Wendy will love to talk to you. She loves meeting other people that love to clean. Um, and that's one thing I like about our crew now is that they all they are conscientious, but a lot of it is because Wendy holds them to a high standard. She's got her checklists. She's got things for them to remember. Um and I think another thing that sets us apart is um, a lot of people struggle with doing the deep clean right before Thanksgiving and Christmas because of the chemical smell. And one of the things that we do have available is uh, we've got a green clean uh, without ammonias, without chlorines. Um, can you tell them a little about our, our Melaleuca products and, and what you're, I know you've used pretty much every cleaning thing out there. Um, talk to them about bougie wipes, uh, but just, you know, what your experience with the Melaleuca products have been? Um, I do like what I call the bu- we call the bougie wipes. They yeah. are wipes that have um, window cleaner on them. Yes, and I can wipe the windows, and they look really good. I can wipe them and leave them. You know, sometimes you're you've got a paper towel and it leaves lint and all this stuff, and it drives me crazy. And sometimes, you know, maybe if you use microfiber towel. You know, you've got to constantly make sure it's clean and all this stuff. So I like those wipes that I can just wipe it and go and toss it. It didn't just be done. And so um, this the smell of the um, multipurpose is just a faint little smell that smells clean, but it doesn't have that chemical. Smell. It doesn't have that kind of biting. And and for folks out there that have that are kind of smell sensitive, um, or you have allergies, um, we've had folks that have requested just because they they've got they've had asthma, uh, or they've got they know they may be allergic to this stuff. These are all natural. They are they they are. Um, I know the disinfectant has the same FDA. I mean, it's 99.9% kills everything just like a Lysol, but it doesn't smell like Lysol. You're not going to walk in and go, oh, somebody just mopped the floors. It's going to smell good. They, I, I even like the, um, you know, they've even even like their heavy duty cleaner. They've got one product, Solumel, that you can put Sharpie on a wall and that stuff will take it off. And it smells like you can get lemon, orange, and even the basic, it smells good. So it's a, it's a lot different. Again, it, I, I like the way you put that. It smells clean without that clean chemical and smell I, I tried it one time um, i wanted my husband to smell it because chris is allergic to quite a bit of stuff and yeah. the older he gets the more allergic to heat amen he to every smell in fact he can't handle the plug-ins and the walls and all really that. and some of the chemicals that i've cleaned with and i said just and i sprayed something now i said just smell this for a minute you know and he was he was fine with that. So there's some things that um, we need to do to keep people's allergies down and sinus yeah. problems and things like that. And if we if we can do that, that's a great help to and, anyone that's. And we don't charge extra for that, folks. So if that's uh, all of our cleaners have a caddy that have those products already there, that's kind of our default. Um, but I will tell you, um, how do you handle when customers have their own cleaning products they want us to use? 
I always tell them if they have something that they want to use, leave it out on the counter wherever we can see it. Um, some people like a certain thing on their, f- they like a certain thing on the floor. And um, if they prefer that, we will use that and they will leave it on the counter. And then it's like, okay. There you go. I don't use Comet, but there are some people that still like Comet. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. If you want your sink with Comet in it, then we will put Comet in there if you leave it beside this. And that's what I tell people. If Whatever you have, if you prefer us to use that. And a lot of people would rather us just use their products. But you get a couple times when somebody's like, I really like my sink to be with Comet. And I'll leave it out for you and things that... Um, So one other thing is we're getting close to the holidays, as we've talked about a lot. And remember, before we get, I'm going to, I'm going to quiz Wendy on giving you guys some tips on some stuff. I know that I've learned a lot and some of the things she's talked, she's talked to our team and our, our crew about is from now until the end of the year. So it's October through uh, December 31st, 2022. For every $100 you buy in gift certificates for cleaning from Pro93, and again, you can reach us at 458-4135 or Pro93homesolutions.com. Click the contact us, and if you just want to put, here's my email, here's my phone number, call me, I want to get a gift certificate, that's fine. For every $100 you get of uh, cleaning gift certificates, we will give you an additional $50 gift certificate. So, and that's for every $100 you spend. You so you spend two hundred dollars in, in cleaning gift certificates, we'll give you a hundred. So we're putting our money where our mouth is. Uh, we um, I'm confident in what we do and what Wendy has our crew out there doing. Um, our customers take a look at the reviews we have. Customers love it. With that, Wendy, it's that time of year. Everybody's gonna be trying to clean up, trying to do stuff. I'm gonna throw a couple. I'm, we're gonna play some word association. I'm gonna get throw out a cleaning tool. You're gonna to talk about or or some place that needs to be cleaning. You're gonna give me your best trick in the book on that. Let's start with. I know something that's near and dear to your heart. Magic erasers. What do you think of when you think magic eraser? I think of spots on the wall. There you go. And dirty bathtubs that oh. have. Um, soap scum on them it'll take it off even and i will tell you the first time she cleaned my bathtub i had you know i've got typical fiberglass tub with it but it's got that textured bottom right non-slip and i just had some like snope scum and stuff down there that i didn't think it, i just thought that's just what my tub's gonna look like because i had scrubbed and scrubbed with the with the the shower cleaner and all the stuff i might have even used comet i don't know but i just i couldn't get it up mm-hmm. I come home from her first cleaning and it looks like I have a new tub and she's just looking at me and she's like magic erasers and it really I'm telling you folks it is amazing what those things can do she's showed me some things and I know too we've talked about this in the past you don't have to pay for the top dollar like Mr. Clean they they have kind of the off brands right, what's been your experience with those they're they are cheaper sometimes uh they aren't as strong like they don't last as long is that they what you don't mean? last as yeah. long but when the price difference is there you can use three for the price of one so if you catch the off brand on sale grab a bunch right you mm. know and i go on amazon a lot and buy like a 50 pack because you might not everybody probably needs a 50 pack unless they want to share with their neighbors but i can go through a 50 pack <laughs> all right one one last one before we get out of here what do you in your opinion best way a lot of people are going to be thinking about this right now hardwood floors best stuff out there that you'd like to clean hot if you're just doing a good clean mop of hardwood floors what do you like probably the best would be murphy's yeah murphy's oil soap best Um, experience with that best i've used fabuloso which is good i've used bona and Bona's pricey, and a lot of people are sold on it. But if you don't do it right, it doesn't Bona like can leave a film, right? Right. And I wouldn't recommend mopping your hardwoods like constantly. Yeah. You know, every other week or once a month. I mean, you could sweep and vacuum. Now we go in and we mop the hardwood floors with it every other week. But you know, if you're just doing it 
on your own. I don't think I would do it every week. There you go. Listen, folks, she knows what she's talking about. The cleaning guru herself. Wendy, thank you so much for coming in here today. I know you came in here. You're ready to go clean somewhere else uh, as soon I'm as you leave. I'm getting ready. I left I, but the listen, job and but then listen, I get to go back. To but I brought her a Diet Coke, which is her fuel. And I know better. You show up with, and it's not just, a, it's a certain restaurant fast food chains diet coke and everybody out there knows what i'm talking about um so listen thank you guys for listening remember for every hundred dollars in gift certificates for cleaning you get you get a fifty dollar just mention the radio tell them you heard us and you want to get some gift certificates tell your friends tell your neighbors we would love to help you out thank you so much for listening to home solutions today uh remember love on your family go love your neighbor and uh, remember we're all in this together We'll see y'all next week. You've been listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 103 The Buzz.